Okay, in this presentation we're just going to have a quick look at a Jupyter Notebook and what it does. So this presentation is not really so much Julia as in just how to work with a Jupyter Notebook. Now hopefully you will got this far, okay, that you will have this, you be able to get this screen up in front of you, this page up in front of you. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to this side here and click on you and I'm going to click on Julia. So what this, go, this is going to do is it's going to create a new notebook for me uh, which is a Julia notebook okay so we see the Julia symbol up in the corner here now the kernel is just waiting there so just actually the important thing here is that there are two main types of cells as far as we're concerned for this presentation there are two main types of cells the first one is code and the second one is markdown so I'll just actually just look at those both in detail so what I'm going to do here first off is I'm going to run a line of code and typically what we might do is we might call the packages that we're going to use in this example in this exercise in this notebook so I'm just going to pick one there using CSV okay and I'm just going to run it there now this actually takes a moment to get started particularly when you're running screencasting software at the same time okay so that's just run there you notice that there is a one there beside it okay so I'm going to just type in another very simple operation there, a equals 1, okay. And you notice that the, it, the input here is indexed as 2, and we also get the output there, which is just actually just the output of this cell. It repeats the output if you do not require, if you don't put the specify it there and you notice they're they're just gone to three now so it sort of keeps the cells in order so that's really all we're going to talk about with regard to how to write code okay just you just type it in and press this button here run if you have a lot of them together what you could do is you can run them all press this button here see that one there restart the kernel then rerun the whole notebook okay that just runs the whole thing starting from scratch okay this is restart the kernel with that dialog. So there's a couple of things that you can do there. You can look at cells here, run all, run all above, cell type. So these are this uh, di this uh, menu here, cell, is actually quite important. Now, um, there's more I could talk about there, but I, won't, I just want to sort of keep it simple and straightforward just to get started. So the other thing I'm going to talk about is markdown. So it's how to document what we're doing. I'm going to call this basic mathematics okay now really I would not actually use CSV file in this case so what I'm going to do is get rid of that cell cut selected cell it's gone okay now according to this here this is a code so they expects Julia code in this cell what I'm going to do is actually switch to switch it to markdown okay such that it actually accepts it as text so if I was just to run that that just comes out as a, as a bit of text now what you can do here is actually learn a bit about markdown so markdown is actually quite easy to learn you should be able to pick it up in about half an hour all the main parts of it there so I'm just gonna run that again uh, three pound symbols or hashtags if you prefer that actually specifies this as a, sta a level 3 header so there we go okay now, and also you might notice that, is, that you can move the cells up and down, reorder them as you wish. So let's just have this up at the top and so on. And more text here. Run that as markdown. There we go. And so on. So that's just a sort of brief little primer of how to work with a Jupyter Notebook. So we leave that there.